The vibe is real, the vibe is real. The vibe is real, the vibe is real. Hey, from vibe to vibe to state to state. Tori and D tienen el show, vibe to vibe TV. She spread the love, subtract the hate. Si tú tienes talento, tell her time and date. Interview the real, deny the fake. Con haters, no pierde el tiempo, she got money to make. The vibe is real, the vibe is real. Hey, the vibe is real, the vibe is real. Hey, hey, the vibe is real, the vibe is real. Hey, con haters, no pierde el tiempo, she got money to make. talk for hours literally, literally. creating 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 <laughs> or manifesting or putting out some motivation with real life experiences which yeah. means the ups the downs the struggles the highs everything. the lows so, exactly tone motivates as a person right you're a creator you're a writer you're a singer you're a dancer you're everything <laughs> You found a way to combine everything that you love to do, and you're on podcasts. You're a life coach. You're doing a lot of everything that you're naturally great at. Um, so, give me a little bit about Tone Motivates, the roots, the background. <sighs> well, the background. I am the oldest of four girls. So I was always like a second mom, um, and I spent a lot of time at home. So I just really. Uh, stuck to writing. Writing was a real big outlet for me. So at first it was just like poems and stuff like that. I remember um, writing my first crush a song like, <laughs> oh my God, you sound so good. You can have me. I, I know, you know you I could and all this extra stuff. So Bars. it was really just a, <laughs> yes, it was just an outlet for me. So that and drawing and music, um, it really gave me a way to connect and resonate with myself. Um, you know, since I was always in the house, I didn't get a lot of time outside or, you know, to do things that regular kids might have been doing. So right. um, I had to find a way to, you know, entertain myself, entertain my sister. So we're all like musical-esque or creative um, in that aspect in some That's way a fact. because of it. Right. Right. So it just literally <laughs> just trickled, you know, it just trickled and trickled and trickled. And um, I got to the point probably around high school where I was dealing with up and coming like record labels as a ghostwriter. Like I had a little folder with all of my songs and the amounts that I wanted to charge for them. I was like doing a little promoting um, locally um, out here in New Jersey where I'm from. And um, it was great. And then um, I found out that I was expecting and I pretty much put everything on the back burner. And sometimes with life, you know, time just passes. So right. I'm working and, you know, I'm always, I'm always that, I was always that social person. So social butterfly and stuff like that, but I wasn't really using my gift in the way that I should. So, right. um, I would say about six years ago, I really just tapped into myself and just started realizing, um, you know, why did I have toxic people around me? Um, you know, what insecurities about me led me to be around those type of people? Um, you know, uh, putting some space in between us and apologizing for people that I was toxic to and all of right. that stuff. So just with my spiritual journey, it was only right that um, I tapped back into all of that stuff. So I can say in these last six years, like my, I am a total different person and I'm so glad that I just, you know, got back to it. Um, if I could write for the rest of my life, I literally would be happy doing that. So uh, I'm just genuinely enjoying everything that I do, and it's just fitting. I don't even remember where did we get tone motivates from. It just do you remember? It just happened. I mean, I remember it was just like tone. Well, you know, you have a lot of names like mutually. I do too, and mm -hmm. it's just like um, I don't know. It's just like tone, tone, net, tone, tone, tone. Right. Like, <laughs> you're so motivational, and it just happened. It just it was just right. something that it was naturally created. It wasn't something that you actually had to sit there and think about it. I remember it just happening. A life coach doesn't mean someone who has to um, be going through something. Even somebody who has their their life together, right? Mm -hmm. They also could use a life coach. So what is your right. definition of a life coach or how would you describe it? 
Um, I look at a life coach as a tool. So it's just like the children's uh, cartoons, like your handy dandy notebook, your explorer backpack. Um, you take out what you need, you leave what you don't. A lot of people have so many like stereotypes over coach. Well, what is a coach or what makes you a coach or, um, you know, a coach has everything together. They don't. I literally tell my clients, I am simply your tour guide and we're on this journey together. You know, I have my path, you have your path. We all have right. different places we want to be in life. And I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just simply here to spark and make you think of the things that you might not have thought of yet. And, um, you know, it's just that delirious optimist in me, like it's always some kind of light in the tunnel. If you're at the bottom, the only way is up, you know, so sometimes all you need is support. We don't have to have the same lifestyle or perception of life. But if we have goals, that's a goal that's common between us, right. you know, so why not support each other um, in our separate journeys? And once I found out that, um, you know, I always knew people gravitated for to me, but uh, once I actually, uh, you know, created the program and I got my first client and, you know, just simply talking to him, he's like, yo, nobody ever said that to me before. Like wow. nobody ever called you a strong black, black man and you were, you were married with a family. You know what I mean? That's and it's crazy. like, it, it was, it was like, that's something I learned that day. Like, I, you know, I cook, I clean and, you know, I do all of the wifely things, but if you think about it, um, you would do those things regardless. You know what I mean? Correct. I'm going to cook and clean for myself. So yes, I would do that for my husband or whatever the case may be. But sometimes it's not about those gestures. It's simply telling someone, look, I'm proud of you. I care for you. Um, right. What would you like to do? You know, what is self-care to you? Even if it's just taking that bath or going to get a man petty or hiking, whatever it is that brings you joy, you should make it a point to do that because you can't find happiness in someone else. That's the start yeah. with you. They can compliment you but if you don't love yourself like how can you truly expect someone else to um love you absolutely it always starts with you it's up to you mm -hmm. to get up put your sneakers on go to the gym it takes you what did you do Correct. yeah but you know right. um the sad part is uh you know people like us we have a light and unfortunately that light is too bright for some people it burns some people at some times you know what i mean because they're not ready for that and one of the big aha moments that i had recently is I can't force my light on you. I can see your right. potential or what I can bring to your life. But if you're not ready for that or open for that, um, simply turn away. I'm still going to shine bright, but I'm realizing that I can't shine that light everywhere. You know right. what I mean? And um, a perfect example for me, I always tell people this story. It's all about your mentality. Some people have it and some people don't. Let's say we have John and Jacob. They're both the same age. They grew up in the same area. Let's say uh, John's parents um, always work. They were never home. Um, Jacob's parents, maybe single mom, um, you know, maybe on the streets, stuff like that. Um, John says, you know, nobody loves me. I I'm going to go gangbang because they care for me. They support me. Like nobody right. cares for me. Why should I care for me? And right. then the other kid says, I'm not going to have kids until I get married. I can't wait to grow up and provide for my family and do everything that I didn't, you know, have or I didn't experience. And who who told who to think that way? Correct. You know, nobody was there for either of them. You know what I mean? But it was something in one of the kids that, you know, that that mustard seed of faith, because that's all you need, that told him that this wasn't it and that I can change my destiny. I can break generational curses just because someone treated me this way doesn't mean that I, I am that. Or you learn from that and, and not be that. Right. You know? So it, it's the choice. They could be that person to break the cycle. I've coached all kinds of people and it might be me helping them register their business and get their EIN. You know, I'm just coaching them in at that aspect because, Correct. you know, I have experience in it or it can be, oh, I need to be more motivated. I, I want to, you know, change my attitude a little bit because it's ruining the relationships that I have with my family and, you know, stuff like that. So it's like a uh, coach is, 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 is a mentor. That's all it is. You know what I mean? So if you are playing basketball, you know, you might get a coach to mentor you. Um, it might not be a coach. It might be uh, someone you looked up to in a neighborhood that played really good ball and, you know, just loves to help the kids out or whatever right. the case may be. So everybody in a way, if you have people around you and people that look up to you, we're all mentors in a way. You know, it, it, it's just being transparent enough to say, look, um, I work hard. Everybody around me knows that I literally go for what I want. And if that's all you take out of what tone motivates is, I'm good. 
You know what I mean? Because now you can take that information and do what you want with it. You know what I mean? So you don't necessarily have to always say the negatives about a person. You know, you can simply appreciate the positives, accept that they're human and that they're trying to change and just keep it moving. Like they're on the same path as you. You know what? We're all going to make mistakes. If all of us were judged by a mistake, not one of us would be here. Mm. That's you true. know, so it's like we all bleed, we all gonna die. You know, I, I give the same <laughs> respects to, um, you know, the king of wherever to, you know, a homeless guy on the street. Like, it is what it is. Where you you never know someone's story. You know? I know you are very talented. You do podcasting. You're a writer. You're all around creative. How do you find balance between all your madness? And I call it madness because we on a personal level. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Um, honestly, I just make time for self care. Self care and self love is, it's it's interchangeable to me. You know what it's, I mean? Yeah. And right, like I just have to do something to recharge and right. just take care of myself. A lot of the times, it's probably like playing some jazz music. I love jazz music now. I used to always wonder why my aunt listened to it, but I could appreciate it. I love you know love some. Jazz some crystals, instant journaling, um, maybe looking at some like alchemy videos or, you know, just um, exploring. Um, I just took a strength uh, test recently and my number one strength is input. So I'm just naturally like a researcher, curious, looking for what's next or- In other words, um, you're I guess nosy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> right, right. You know, I'm um, I mean, in a way, cause I'm always, <laughs> no. I, like, I always want to know, like I'm the first to Google something. Like don't ask me what something is when you can, like we have so many resources now. Do you remember back in the day going to the library and pulling the things out and looking through them to see where, like these the kids don't ask me nothing. Index, yeah. Right. And then having to go and get it like, no, you could just sit in your bed and get information like I don't want to hear it. But it's just that uh, curiosity and, and what if for me, it's like being on a plane and you're about to land and you see all of the small um, houses and stuff like that. And it's lit up because it's night like that entire site is reachable to me. And wherever I want to go, I'm going to go. I'm going to talk to myself as though it's there. Um, even if I don't know, even if you don't know what it is that you want to do, think about it. Everybody has something. You can go back to being a kid and you wanted to play the piano. Okay, you could take lessons now. People will come to your house and do that. Do you, you know remember what I mean? so like, us being self-taught on instruments? What? You couldn't tell me I wasn't Alicia Keys when she first came out. <laughs> you give me butterflies. <laughs> but yes, I mean, because it's like we have we had an ear for it. So it's like, you know, why not? Like, you don't have to. You could, if, if, if you only could afford a piano, just get the piano. Everybody <laughs> first song is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Yes. I remember your keyboard. Girl. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. You said that. Um, yes, I loved it. <laughs> five strengths that someone who may take your life coach. It doesn't have to be five. I don't even know why I said five. Some <laughs> <laughs> I got five on it. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Um, so what? Five strengths that, that they like they come out like like what do they leave with? Um, honestly, it's the main thing is just more motivated. You know what I mean? Sometimes we can beat our, ourselves up. We are our best friend and worst enemy. Oh, so yeah. it's just being conscious that when you're thinking negatively, all right, stop. I'm thinking negatively, you know, maybe think of something fun, um, something funny your friend said recently, or, you know, just rerouting your thoughts and literally just affirmations you know what i mean like manifesting this stuff like write it down if somebody pisses you off and you curse them out think about how you felt you know what i mean like figure out why you were triggered so next time that right. happens you know you're prepared to handle that situation you know what i mean like we can't control how people act we, we can only control um, ourselves our reaction you know to them so i would say like just being more conscious and in tune with yourself and thinking about what it is that makes you happy and what you want out of life. Cause a lot of people chase money forever and we can't go nowhere with it. And at the end of the day, most of the time you leave it for your kids, they gonna blow it. You know what I mean? So it's like, <laughs> I want to be on my deathbed talking to my grandkids and my kids talking about, oh, me and your, uh, your grandfather, we jumped out the plane naked one time. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> or we got arrested in uh, Dubai, like <laughs> example, but um, you know what I mean? Like stuff like that is experiences. And I'm like, I'm working hard because all of these are experiences to me. Yes, the money is a plus, but um, when you're happy doing something, you're going to put your all into it. So it doesn't matter if I'm tired. It doesn't matter if I'm beat. You know, once I get to what I'm doing and I'm creating, I'm excited now. My juices are flowing, you know? Right. So it's like 
when you genuinely love something and you're all in, you're going to give it 100%. And if you start to create revenue off of that, great, run with it. And it's like some people used to say, oh, you're a busybody and you do too much or, you know, hone into one thing. And it's like, why? You know, I don't do one thing at home. Like, you know, before I was doing all this, I worked, I Ubered, I, you know, I had like three or four things that I was doing then. So that's just me. So, you know, as a brand, you can, or a, a, a entrepreneur or artist, you know, you can dibble and dabble in little things. One of those things are going to pop. You know what I mean? Right. And the way I look at it, whatever does pop, I'm dragging my other stuff up with it. You know what I mean? Right. Like all of these moguls out here, please name one that only does one thing. Tell me some of your greatest experiences in, in anything, whether it's podcasting or modeling. Um, I know you, you know, you have a lot of great accomplishments. So what are some of your favorites? Honestly, all of them are my I favorites. <laughs> everything that I'm everything that I'm doing is like you know, every like I remember being young and remember we were talking about it uh, recently, like the loop and the mama raising hey, and all that stuff. And it's what? like you had to you had to sell yourself. You know what I mean? And it's like I was always well spoken. Like people always said, oh, you have a nice voice or all of those things. So it's like I love to talk. You know what I mean? So it's like to finally say, all right, let me try this. And now I, I do voiceovers. All right, let me try this. I'm doing podcasting. I'm writing. I'm in magazines. You know what I mean? I I was in a silent movie. Um, you know, I'm modeling. Like I didn't necessarily the modeling just came out the left field. Of course, as a girl, you know, you probably think about it, but I actually did it and I liked it and I didn't fall and bust my ass. So it's like it it's it's <laughs> I, it's exhilarating. It truly is exhilarating. Like I honestly feel like somebody that just came out the closet or something like that. Cause it's like, <laughs> what was I doing all this time? You know what I mean? I was yeah. literally just wasting time and I knew it wasn't, I knew something That's wasn't the right. the worst thing to do is waste and, time. Right. And it's like all kinds of crazy things happen to I've you because it. this is literally signs saying, nope, turn around, do it again. Nope, turn around, do it again. You know, and you want to keep on turning around and doing it again until you get it right. And it's right. like, I've had smooth selling and can genuinely say like, I'm happy. Like, and it's not about, uh, like, I'm happy with the people around me. Everybody's doing something like they elevate me to want to do more. Um, you know, everybody that I con uh, come in contact with for some reason is doing great things. Like I've, um, I said yesterday, I flew in from Denver and, um, it was a really, really old guy. He could barely stand up. He was in the end seat. So I'm like, mm -hmm. I better go to the bathroom now. And then at the last <laughs> minute, it must've been a standby guy. Mm -hmm. He, um, look, that's the insider. That's why you chuckled. Um, <laughs> a guy came the last minute and he sat in the middle. So now we're a little squished. I'm on the, I'm, I'm by the window. So I'm just over here. And, um, I guess he had a fear of falling when he was asleep. So he kept on jumping. So like both of us are asleep. And then it would kind of scare me because I'm, and I'm thinking maybe he got sleep apnea. I don't know. I got my headsets in and he just kept saying sorry. So I took my headset out and I'm like, you don't have to keep saying sorry here. You can use this armrest. And we talked and um, he owns a VIP bar in, in um, I think Miami or Fort Lauderdale. Next time you come, oh. let me know. You know what I mean? And it's just simply just being nice to him. And we started a conversation and I showed him a video about when I was in Miami for my birthday. And like, we really like, you know, just bonded for a moment over common things. And right. he literally let, like, next time you out there, let me know. Like we follow each other on Instagram now and everything. So it's just like, when you're open to whatever it is that you want, you're going to continuously come in contact with people that are doing similar things and people think it's a joke they call people no. crazy and all of that but this is truly the matrix if you pay attention to what's going on around you if you talk to yourself as though you have the things that you want already now nobody's saying i want to rob a bank and you know manifest that but um you know, you know money just, genuinely, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just genuinely doing little things that you want you know what i mean if it's taking more time for yourself do that it's nothing wrong with taking care of you sometimes we feel so right. guilty you know, to just like tap into ourselves. Like, and it could be scary. It's not easy all the time. You know, it's some oh, parts yeah. that's rough when you're going to cry so, and uh, all that, but <laughs> you got to keep it so moving. It's a part just, of life. Just to piggyback on what you're saying, you know, you put yourself out there, you know, then you start aligning with people that um, are doing great things and it's just, you're manifesting. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I believe in leading with great intentions. Like I do things because I love to do these things. Or if I'm going to help you, it's because I'm helping you with great intentions, not with selfish intentions or expecting something back. I just help people because I've been told no all the time and I still do me. 
you know? Right. And so to, the, to piggyback off of you, I'm sorry, but my tattoo says. So we're piggyback off of the piggyback. Off of the look, piggyback. we're piggybackers. Okay. <laughs> but um, I can't get it right. But my tattoo says, be the person you need it. Nice. And it's simple as that. Whoever it is that you needed to support you, and a lot of times it's yourself. But whoever you, you know you needed to support you, you know, be that person. You know, Absolutely. be that person. Like you never know what someone's going through. If a lady's nasty with you at McDonald's, you know, her family member could have just died. I'm still gonna be nice as long as you ain't putting your hands on me or you know physically like disrespectful. I'm gonna say good morning, even if you don't right. say good morning back. Like my my upper power knows my intention. Mm -hmm. Like giving a homeless man in front of the liquor store two dollars, he probably well, gonna go buy a beer with that two dollars. But that's not my business. You know, my higher power knows why I gave this man two dollars, and my right. blessings are gonna come from my intentions being pure. And with it could that. be now, your last two dollars. There could be. Right. Your, I've seen it. Where it's your last couple dollars one i'm buddhist but i'm human first right as many of you know i follow buddhist philosophy and obviously they're the most at peace or they encourage the most at peace right so there has been times where i address a fast food worker like are you okay and you're right it could be a moment where someone maybe have passed away or they're overworked and they haven't taken a lunch they're, it's just them and their manager and at the end of the day listen you need your break so I would talk to your manager, but I have also addressed people like, oh, I don't have an attitude. I'm like, okay, well, then you should obviously you go public. Because... <laughs> <laughs> but this is not for you. I address it like, are you okay? Yeah. And then people were like, oh my gosh, you're the only person to even ask me if I'm okay. Mm -hmm. And then, and then the, you know, obviously the venting comes out and everything and wow. Right. I have a short story about this and it was like, it was touching. I got goosebumps. I was in Vegas for my best friend's wedding and I was standing outside with a couple friends and this girl just out of nowhere was like standing in between like the crevice of the hotel. Like the hotel's like this and she's standing where my thumbs are. So I'm like, what the hell is she doing? And then she saw us and came closer. So the guys aren't paying her any mind, but I'm looking out for her like, You're you know, observing. something wasn't right. So um, come to find out, I Ubered this girl home and everything. She didn't know where she was at. I don't know if like she was on drugs and tripped out. But as a woman, she was with somebody and they tried something or they did something. And um, she didn't know where the hell she was. So she was visiting Vegas as well. Um, so I literally, I, I just walked up to her like, look, you don't have to tell me anything. But it seems like, you know, you're in distress. It's something that I could do for you. And she's like, I don't know where I'm at. And I'm like, where do you want to go? So she told me the hotel. And as I'm um, getting the Uber for her, I'm like, all right, what's your number? You know, I'm like, call me when you, you know, get in the Uber and I'll let you know. She's like, where do I stand? All of this stuff. She's literally shaking. And I'm talking to her and I'm like, look, I'm a motivational coach. And at the end of the day, we're women. You know, you see these two big guys over here, like we'll kick somebody ass. If you want to stand over here until they come, whatever. <laughs> and I'm in my phone and I look up and she's crying. So I'm like, wow, okay, this just solidified everything. Something's going on. So while she was right. waiting for the Uber, instead of being where the Uber stand is, where everybody else is, she's still in another corner. So I'm like, gosh, something. So, they, you know, they kind of laughing at me. Like, you just gave her an Uber, da 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 But um, she hit me up the next day. Like, I don't know where you came from, but I appreciate you. Like, I can't explain to you what happened. And you were just there for me. And I don't know what I would have did or if I would have even left if I didn't, like, you know, it's the next day. I was drunk and stuff. I wasn't even like she was on my mind. But you I'm like, were already right, like, right. You were already celebrating but, your best friend's wedding and right, right, right. But I was like, that was just like it was meant for me to see her and be there. You know, at that point, and it was like, you know, everybody needs somebody like that. You know, at one point, I, I, I was that victim. We were all victims in some way, you know, or another. And sometimes you just need someone to just let you know it's okay. Like I see what you're going through. Like yeah. I can help if I can. You know. So, oh my God, I was gonna start speaking to you in Spanish. <laughs> Hola. Hola. <laughs> so okay. So you know, there's also baits, right? I'm not saying that situation. That's very um hard, like really touching because you know you put yourself in their shoes, you know, and there's sometimes people set up these like kids to act lost, right? And it's bait. You get jumped. You get robbed. Mm -hmm. Or right. um a woman. So it's really hard, you know, especially in today's Right, world. and you know what? If I was by myself, it probably would have went differently. 
you right. know, but so I'm literally was, there yeah, with my boyfriend at the time interest. and one of my close friends. So it's like, what the hell was anybody? Like, I wasn't going anywhere. They wasn't going to let me go anywhere by myself. And they said that. And I'm like, it might have, like, you know, because it was like, how did you know that? She might have just wanted a ride or because she saw you, she figured maybe she can play on you. And I'm like, honestly, if she did, so be it. It was a $15 ride. You know, this girl is crying. You know right. what I mean? Like, what's the big deal? If right. me giving her Uber ride shut her up from crying, I'm okay with that. But you, you know, know what I mean? Like, so, you know, I believe in you obviously did a good, a great thing, right? When you pay it forward, what they decide to do with what you've given them is their karma. Your mm -hmm. karma was the great intention you did and right. the good intentions you did. You set for yourself. And that's, I believe in, you know, the karmic law. Right. So it's going to come back to you. Whatever they decide to do with the $2 you gave them or the ride you may have paid for, that's their karma. Right. And it's like, so, you know, um, my friends make fun of me because they're like, you know, you're so naive. I always have to look out for you. Like, especially the guys. Like, <laughs> you can't just say, you can't just be nice to everybody. And I'm like, I genuinely I've heard want say to. That to you. <laughs> yes, I genuinely want to continue <laughs> to see the good in people. Like, why do yeah. I, why does people have to just, automatically go for the bad in a person we all have bad in us you know what i mean so granted it's some people that I just don't care for i'm human whatever but it's like <laughs> for the most part you know everybody has some good in them and i'm like you know when i meet you i trust you you know like you have my respect this you're we're at 100 percent, like a fully charged battery now as you start doing the rick and Moreau, you know, you're going to go all the way down. And that's a different story. Once that wall is up, is up. But it's like, I, you, it shouldn't be like an empty car, you know, going to get filled up and you build up that trust and stuff like that. Like, why am I around you if I can't trust you? And that's in any capacity. You know right. what I mean? So it's like, um, I get it. I do try to be a little more conscious because sometimes I'm too empathetic. But, um, you know, I kind of feel like, you know, my angels are looking over me because this is just how I am. You know what I mean? Right. So if that means that I come in contact with 100 people and I was able to help 99 and the 100th one did something or, you know, it was negative in some way, that's a pretty good ratio still. Like, I'm I'm OK with that. You right. know what I mean? So I just try to be like as safe as possible. But I just try to not let society, um, you know, determine how mm -hmm. I'm going to treat people because of the things that's going on in the world. Like, you know, a bomb could be heading towards America right now. They ain't going to tell us where, they go, where we going to go. Where are we gonna go? You know what I mean? Like, it, it, you know, so it's like, live, <laughs> knock on wood, you know, but it's like, it would create panic. So it's like, why not let everybody go about their business and boom, you know? So it's like, why not just have, just make it a point every single day, you know, to be as good as you can to people and to yourself. Treat others like you wanna be treated. You right. know what I mean? I every single day, live your best life. I and like my favorite, I got this from Bros and Co Factory last night. No free promo. <laughs> Oh, that's what we're, nah. saying. we're on the phone. Right. Look, I don't plug like eight things. I, and I totally forgot. Look, you can okay, tell we ain't been in the, look, in the look, studio. Look. So I, I, that is totally relatable. I have a comment here. Shout out to my girl, Laisha. She said, I gave, oh, wait a minute. I gave a random woman a ride once. She had bags and was starting, I'm sorry, standing in the cold. I could have possibly put myself in harm's way, but all I could think of was, if I was her, she was so grateful. But honestly, after that one time, I don't think I could do it again. <laughs> you know, like yeah, like because you have that, you have that in you. Everybody's thinking like, oh my god, you know, this could go horribly wrong, and you're still, you're still a little nervous, a little anxious because you don't know. It's crazy people out here. Innocent people die every day, B. You know what I mean? So it's like you have to be careful, and it's like it, it's. It's sad that you have to, you know, you can't pick up, you can't just randomly, well, you shouldn't want to randomly pick up people anyway, unless, you know, <laughs> depending on the stuff that you're doing. But you know what I mean? If you want to help somebody or if somebody asks for help, you know, it's, it, and I know this is like a fairy tale land with me just saying this, but, you know, if you ask me for something, I feel like you genuinely need it. And it's right. like, we blow money on stupid stuff. We you know, we all have our vices. Last night. We all have our vices. You know what I mean? So right. why does it matter if I gave the guy outside the liquor store $2 or I, you know, went and bought a pack of cigarettes with it or something like that? Like, you're going to waste it anyway. Like, why not? Right. And it, it's, it's how right. I feel. Like, I sometimes I have $5 and I ain't giving nobody nothing. But I might have <laughs> two. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's how you feel. So when right. I feel the need or impelled to do it, I'll do it. If not, then. Oh, yeah, absolutely. For sure. And of course, Killer, our homegirl, Killer Cam, she's showing love. Yeah. She's been saying facts the whole time. Shout out to everybody tuned in and 
watching and she was cracking up <laughs> um oh okay thank you killa all right big sis to everyone oh okay that was like the commenting when we were talking about back in the day how you used to we used to beef with each other and they would come tone more yeah y'all better get it together uh-uh y'all, y'all chilling around me too i don't need no problems because my mother's gonna call all of us upstairs in a minute so y'all better chill out i know <laughs> we have just great um a great foundation with our experiences block parties music freestyling dancing we would do so many choreographies and then we're still doing what we've been doing Right. I think that's the amazing part. Despite any life obstacles, life experiences, we always stay grounded to our foundation. And I think right. that's super, super dope um, and amazing because obviously we could relate to so many levels. It's not because we go way back. Because there's people we go way back with and we just see them say, hey, what's up? Or keep it moving. Like, mm-hmm. And for someone like you and I that we're still doing what we do in many different aspects we got a, we get a little crazy we get a little obsessed and um we, we it's just different you know methods, right it's 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 different and like I, that's why i always respect you for that because it's like everybody doesn't get it but it's like i don't care what relationship anybody in the world has i was about to say your name your name name you're back in the day now, <laughs> but you know what i mean like the 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 wisdom that we exchange with one another it's priceless right. You know what I mean? And I could never, um, you know, I could never discredit that. You know what I mean? And for that, like, I would always stand up for you because I'm really proud of you. I don't think people tell you enough, but I am truly proud of you, Tori. Like, you really, you know, you're doing your thing. Let me get this voice. um, Let me get my mixer on. I'm going to record this. (laughs) (laughs) But you really are. You you are. Like, I'm I'm so, so proud of you. And it's like, I know you look at me like, like a big sister in a lot of ways, but you know, as far as like my journey with Tone Motivates, I look at you as that mentor or like that big sister. So okay. um, I I'll can't tell you how, 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 she, how grateful <laughs> I am. <Yeah. laughs> we always get a little goofy, right? Can we ever Right, it's nothing serious? wrong with it. Right, it's like, can you stop? Because you know it's contagious. So we're just giggling back and forth like uh, ping pong. Your profile on IG looks good, by the way. <laughs> And it stopped right at you were smiling, so, like a big, big smile. So that is amazing. But thank you so much. And it is a lot of hard work. And, you know, I never expect anyone to tell me thank you or give me any type of credit or recognition. But it, it is, mm-hmm. it does feel nice. It does feel right. good. Um, Because I've been doing this since I was a kid. Literally, right. ever since I moved to that block, you know. Right. And I, I just been doing this naturally. So. Right. Um, and then, you know, with our heads going like this. Sometimes you don't even think about it. Like it takes somebody to randomly say, hey, you're doing this, you're doing, for you to be like, oh snap, I am doing this, I am doing that. <laughs> you know, so since we move so fast that sometimes yeah. we don't necessarily smell those roses because it's like, all right, what's next? Like I ate things after this and you know what I mean? So right, right. like my cousin, she she um, extended her gratitude to me earlier when I sent her the link for this interview. And, you know, she's a big cousin and, you know, at her words just, I, I appreciated it. I really appreciate it because sometimes family is the last people to support you. And it's like, we're on the same journey and all that. She's like, I see you cuz. Right. And she's like, I see you. And it's like, you know, that is all around the board. It takes nothing to compliment or acknowledge someone. Even if I didn't say that, it didn't change the fact that you're dope and you're doing all this stuff. You know what I mean? So I'm determined to give people their roses while they're here. Oh, that was perfect. <laughs> all right so guys uh again we could talk with tone motivates all day every day for hours but this is just a little sneak peek sneak peek there goes my accent kicking in so who tone motivates is and her foundation and her grounding tone motivates is no stranger to vibe to vibe as you may know has hosted open mic many many events she's gonna be one of our home hosts is that the way you say it? And um, we'll be featuring a lot of guest hosts to interview individuals that are dope as and creative as herself. 2022 is here and it's our year. Oh, boss. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and you know, 222 is my angel number. Like for That's years, I always number. see 222 and 1022, my birth date. So girl, I'm not win. even worried about it. I know it's going to be explosive. You know I always win with 222 and 1022, especially in uh, the casino. But that's another whole topic been there in a while either you know <laughs> let's jump on that roulette yeah well, thank you so so much for your time we're gonna catch up with you some more and obviously our audience will be tuning in to you uh hosting interviews of again great people and creatives right. 
So be sure to yeah. follow Tone Motivates everywhere. You can also reach me at tonemotivates.com as well. Drop Ooh. Snipe. Drop Snipe. <laughs>